Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I want to show you a quick video on how to get Google RCS messages to show up on your iPhone in case you use two devices. And this will work pretty daggone nicely. So if you're somebody who uses two devices and you leave the house with your iPhone, you still want to be able to get those high quality pictures and videos from Google RCS right on your iPhone. This video is going to show you how to do that. So on your Android device, you're going to want to open up Google Messages, of course. And if you don't have this already installed, it's free on the Play Store. Just download it and then get to the screen here. So once you're here, hit the three dots and then press Device Pairing. And then you're going to want to navigate to this website here on your iPhone. I already got to it on my iPhone over here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you over here. This is the same website it just showed there. Go ahead and once you're here, I like to hit remember this computer. If it's your personal iPhone, you're going to be using it anyway. Now go ahead and hit this little share button and then add to home screen. And I like to set mine up like this just so it looks like an actual application here. So now you should have this nice little Google Messages application installed here. And it's going to be full screen and just kind of look nicer. So on your Android at this point, you're going to open up the QR uh, code scanner and then scan that and then all of your messages are going to actually go ahead and populate here on your iPhone so I'm going to open up this same message uh, chat here it's not really a chat but <laughs> some uh, almost say spam message but basically and whatever you send or delete over here is going to automatically show up over here okay And everything's going to just stay synced. Now, let's say you wanted to um, erase some messages. It's going to also erase over here. Now, whenever you're on your iPhone, or you know you leave your Android home for whatever reason, um, you can just open this up and get right back to your messages. This can zoom in and out. Don't worry about that. Now, let's say you're done with that. You want to go ahead and unpair. You're actually going to have two options. I'm on do not disturb right now just so I don't get a phone call and it messes this whole thing up. <laughs> but otherwise, if you're just on your main messaging uh, screen right here, just press these three dots and go back to device pairing. And you can see exactly where you are paired up with here. So you can be paired on some multiple devices, your iPhone, your computer, uh, iPad, whatever Android tablet you're using. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can actually do it here. So you can just hit unpair all devices and it's going to automatically kick this out wherever you're logged into. So whenever you want to reverse these steps, you can do so very, very easily. And I just love that Google actually gave this uh, as an option. So very cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something new. <laughs> and anyways, I'll see you on the next video.